We're the travel bags here with your host, Marissa, and Mommy, and Judah, and Daddy. We are going to Great Escapes RV dealership to make ourselves malcontent <laughs> and try and find a trailer that sleeps 11 people and meets a bunch of other criteria and probably is too expensive for us. So, here we go. trailer that sleeps 11 people and the options are diesel pusher there are fifth wheels there are toy haulers there are and travel a trailers little trailer. I saw a really tiny little trailer that would maybe fit like one person in it and, <laughs> and that obviously wouldn't work so we're looking bed. for a trailer that will sleep 11 a people bed. a dog and oh. a cat This is probably a bed. So two. No, it doesn't have the girl though. This looks like a will, bed. This probably will fold into a bed, but mm. it's probably only good for one. I don't know. It doesn't. I love it. Oh yeah. Daddy, I need it. We need Besides, it. Besides, it doesn't have girl though. We can't have a trailer without girl though. And then you've got. Then you've got a bedroom. That's two. Daddy, there's so five. 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 Yeah, we're doomed. <laughs> no, no. Okay, so master bed sleeps three, couch sleeps two, dinette sleeps two. There's girl down back there, four. Oh, girl dumb sleeps. Well, I guess I could sleep five down here because that looks like it folds out. So precious. Ooh, this well, is this, nice. This would actually. Not, not really. This particular trailer would actually work, and we've looked at these before. Um, the problem is, is they weigh too much. Usually, this will give you the dry weight. So, unloaded vehicle weight is 6,400 pounds. That's a thousand pounds more than our trailer now. We just have to get up, go on a diet or something. Our van can tow about um, 7,500 pounds. And so we basically would have another 1,000 pounds of stuff, <laughs> which I don't think is possible. 30,999. So one of the things I've noticed on these newer trailers is that um, they don't have the storage that we have. Um, I mean, look at, there's lack of upper cabinets. In our trailer, this whole section has has cabinets. And then up on the other side where the kitchen is, has cabinets. But this instead we have this one, er, and a, actually it's big. And we would be losing, also we would be losing our storage bins at the back of the trailer, where we store my tools and uh, because oftentimes they'll put an outdoor kitchen, which we don't use. Can't, my feet are and this one has a slide, which means it doesn't have the same kind of uh, storage bin back there. So, so for instance, um, this is um, where one of our storage bins would be, would have been. 
in our trailer and on this one it's got an outdoor kitchen which we would probably never use maybe every now and then but and then of course we have another storage bin on our trailer on this side and this one has a slide so wow it's a palooza look look at that oh this thing's gotta weigh a ton oh yeah this wouldn't work we have to share beds and we're not that generous. Yeah, and we push each other out. <laughs> uh, I mean, you guys, the bathroom door doesn't close, so we can't get this one. Okay, sleeping count for this trailer with the awesome island and the door that doesn't close in the bathroom. Uh, one, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. It's not enough. Moving on. Holy counter space, look at that. This is not a living space, this is just one big kitchen. Yeah. Well, we've got... My bed! That could be your bed? Where are the rest of us gonna sleep? This wouldn't fit all of us. If you're pretty, it's not for us, then I'll skip for you. wouldn't? It wouldn't. Well, you guys would have to double up back there. Yeah, and we're not that friendly, so... <laughs> We could all just sleep on the counter, there's enough of that. So this one's got a, a walk-in cabinet, closet or whatever. Actually, Judah and Ellie could sleep in here. Well, we could take way too many clothes. <laughs> That's a closet. Sit on the toilet. <laughs> now try and reach the toilet paper. <laughs> Need I say more? This is my road schooler's uh, pet peeve. It's trailers with fake fireplaces because that is a lot of shelf space that you're missing out on for storing books. So that you can just pretend to be warm? Yeah, it doesn't work. I like the fireplace. <laughs> <laughs> so, in conclusion, we didn't find any trailers that we can use at the dealership, so we're going to go to one more place and see if they've got any trailers that we want there that can sleep 11 people and a dog and a cat and not break the bank or the van or the van they're like hey. miners look at this like feral cats everywhere <laughs> that one was judging me earlier okay here is the trailer that sleeps 11 people Ooh, let's get it Ooh, look look it's got it's even got it's our got stickers uh, on it decals already. on the back for our website. Wow. So that's, it's, I think it's, it's customized. It's meant to be. It's the only one that's locked though. The owner gave me a key. So let's look at this one. Well, this one looks promising. We got two couches here. It looks to me like both of these couches will fold out into beds. So we've got we've got two, four people, and then back here we have a bunk house. Five, six, seven, eight. And this one comes with a cat. And then we have a master bedroom back here. So where were we? Eight, nine, ten. And look, this one even has an extra bed built right here. Eleven. We found it. A trailer that sleeps eleven. As you uh, saw with uh, our trip to the RV dealership, uh, finding a trailer that suits our needs is not an easy task, but we will continue the quest. 
Uh, we do eventually need to get something new, even if it's an, a less worn out version of the same model. Uh, we do need to eventually get something because the, the wear and tear uh, of, of all the miles that we put on this trailer is starting to really show. And I'm afraid that one of these days we're just going to be driving down the road and it's just going to disintegrate all over the road. Um, so we will continue our quest to find a trailer that suits our needs, that fits all of us, and that's light enough for us to pull. Uh, until that time, we'll just have to uh, make do with our 2010-29BH Passport that you see behind me. Um, it is, at this point, the only trailer that we've been able to find that meets all of our criteria. That's light enough to tow with our van, that sleeps all of us, and that has actual uh, enough storage to carry all of our stuff. Um, so anyway, if you have any suggestions, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments. Uh, if you know of a, of a trailer that uh, sleeps 10, 11 people uh, and is very lightweight, then I'd be happy to hear about it. I'm sure there are others out there that we haven't seen, but uh, so far in all of my research that I've done, I have not been able to find one. So, unless it's just the newer model of this.